Hello, everyone. I'm here to walk you through the deployment capabilities of TIPCO BusinessWorks Container Edition, or as I would like to call it, PWCE. I'll be giving you a quick demo which shows you BWCE in action and how easy it is to deploy your application on a cloud platform of your choice. So BWCE is a, is a purpose-built product for microservices where you can develop and deploy your microservices using the same zero-coding approach that TIPCO has always been able to provide. The biggest benefit of BWC is its ability to run on a cloud platform of your choice. So this allows for that improved agility and cloud native integrations by allowing you to deploy uh, and develop your applications for a cloud platform without refactoring your code. So the possibilities and benefits of the cloud can actually be realized without giving up control over your applications. So BWC actually runs on AWS, Azure, PCF, or OpenShift, and many other uh, cloud vendors out there as well. And in this demo, we'll actually be focusing on how easy it is to deploy to OpenShift uh, from BWC. So the, for the sake of simplicity, uh, we're going to currently show you a state where the BWC application has already been developed and built, and it's ready to be pushed to Docker Hub and then to OpenShift. A BWC application has now been created and has a simple uh, response that says, hello, TIPCO, whenever you use this application. We can now create an archive file to actually deploy this uh, application using the export application for deployment option, as you can see here. So once you've exported the file, you just, the archive file, you just need to check if you have a Docker file listed as well. And that Docker file actually creates an image for you. And once you, are, you have created your image, you should see it uh, in a similar format to this. So as you can see, we have an image that is created. And this image can then be pushed to Docker Hub, where you can see it hosted on, as a public repository uh, for you to pull into OpenShift. So what you can do now is you can just log in into your OpenShift web console and create a new project. So as you can see, I've taken the liberty of creating a project here. And you can then go ahead and uh, deploy your, your uh, container to this specific project by logging into the command line and just entering the command. And once you've logged in into your project, you can actually go ahead and create a new app by using the following command, which is OC new app. And then just give your Docker Hub uh, uh, repository URL, which is in my case, the following. And you should see that the application has actually successfully been deployed and created. And once you see that, you can actually go ahead and click on your overview tab in the OpenShift console. And you can see that the container has been successfully deployed here. And when you click on your container, you can actually see the details on which the container has been deployed. And you see the IP address that it's deployed on right here and the port number. So you can now test the application that has been deployed using the IP address and the port number using the Swagger UI that shows up uh, for you out of the box. And just type in the port number after this, which is 8097, and just toss the Swagger at the end of it. And you see that the UI is up. And as soon as we send in uh, a string as a, as a request, you should see the hello tip call as the response. And so yeah, your microservice is now deployed on a container on OpenShift and it's up and running. So you can see how easy it is to actually deploy uh, applications from BWC uh, onto a container platform or a cloud platform of your choice. Mm -hmm.